Hi, moon babies. Greetings from the moon temple. Good morning. I know some of you recognize this mug. This mug is my ride or die. Things change, but not this mug. Anyway, I'm slowly waking up in the moon temple and for this week's video, I said it, I'm gonna try to make a video every week. So subscribe to my channel, all that, yada yada. <clears throat> but for this week's video, I thought I would do something special, you know? Uh, maybe if you're watching this later, um, we are currently experiencing a lockdown. At least half the population is ordered to shelter in place. And I noticed some people around me kind of like starting to like lose their marbles slowly and I see how that can very easily happen. So this week's video, I wanted to make something that could be really useful and helpful, not only in this time, but all the other times too. And I thought I would share with you my morning mental health routine. And uh, if you followed my journey, I've said that before too. I'm somebody that has, um, it's my printer, so magical. I'm somebody that has struggled with their mental health my whole life. But these like maybe past four or three years, I actually started taking my self-care and mental health really, really seriously and actually made it the most important part of my life. Uh, so if my mental health's not on point, then like I'm not doing anything else. Like I, if my mental health's not on point, like I'm not doing my work. And I understand that's a luxury thing to say, but these are my priorities. So currently I'm somebody who, you know, I considered my mental health to be exceptional. So, and that hasn't just happened by itself. So I thought I would just share my tips and tricks with you guys. Um, my morning routine, which actually is, I would say the most uh, important part of my mental health hygiene. <clears throat> so first thing, I do is five morning questions by Tony Robbins. He also has evening questions, but these morning questions are fire. And what they do is basically they reprogram your biochemistry to just kind of associate waking up in the morning with excitement, positivity, gratitude, all those great things. So I promise if you do this, like even just this 30 days straight, I think you will notice a difference because I definitely have noticed a difference in my life. And these are really, really fun to do if you're not sheltering in place alone, if you're with, you know, a partner or like family member, these are really, really fun. Okay, here are the five questions. I'm also gonna leave them below. So no worry if you can't catch them right away and you probably have to pause to kind of like think about it a little bit and whatnot. But question number one, what am I excited about today? From my own experience, like let's say, my lamp is going crazy over here. Hey buddy, stop. Um, an example response. I'm excited that we are actually having the first kind of really nice spring day here in Estonia. And I see the flowers kind of like starting to grow. So I'm excited actually to take a walk in the forest. I'm also excited to have a full on writing day. So things like that. Five answers to each question, whatever yours are. Second question, what am I grateful for today? You know, gratitude is an extremely high vibrational feeling. So even if like you see yourself tripping or like going down a rabbit hole, take out a paper and start writing down things that you're grateful for. Like in that high of a vibration, if you can bring it in, nothing shitty can really survive. So what am I grateful for today? Question number two. Question number three. What am I doing today that contributes to my growth and or happiness? Number four. Who do I love today? It can be your peoples. It can be your animals. I read an article recently of this one guy who like was very happily living with the blow up doll. So <sighs> the magical printer. Uh, yeah, I mean, 
if that's your case too, then do that. And the fifth question, what am I proud of today? <clears throat> it doesn't have to be like boastfully proud. I was just doing this with my friend and, and we were kind of thinking, you know, it's more that like, in Estonia, we have really, really good word for that, tunnustama, which is like, it's more like, what do I pat myself on the back for, you know? And we so often find like uplifting words for other people and kind of like fail to find those same words for ourselves. So pat yourself on the back every morning. Find five things that you can pat yourself on the back for. For example, I am so glad. I am so proud of myself that I had the guts and the balls to quit my city life and quit my life as I knew it and oh, the magical printer and come to like a rural nature with nothing and build a sanctuary over here and um, you know to be able to kind of enjoy the fruit of this labor at a time where the world is going through so much is just such a massive gift you know Nature is everything. So, these are the five questions. Do the five questions. I'm gonna go change and gonna show what I do for my body, which is equally important. So I like to start my morning with yoga and I love Adrienne on YouTube. She has those 30 day programs. And since so much of my life is totally self-motivated, I really like to have a coach for my workouts. Yoga is basically sacred geometry for your body. And if you can keep yourself nimble while you're young, all these micro decisions that you make, daily activities that you do, this will really, really pay off when you're older. After yoga, I move to weights, which my physiotherapist mom says that's her most recommended workout. Also another thing that you know you can do will really pay off later in life when your body is strong, when your core is strong. So I love weights. I love getting stronger. And after my body is all stretched out and lean and worked out in every way possible, I'll do a meditation. And I try to do it daily. Longer is better, but a little bit goes a long way too. So I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys, and see you next week.